embarrassing loss to the San Antonio Spurs. It appears DeMarcus Cousins may have gone too far during a team meeting after the game. Cousins says his frustrations got the best of him in a heated tirade toward Coach George Carl and others. And today there are reports that Carl wanted to suspend the team's star player. However, that's not happening because DeMarcus is in tonight's starting lineup against the Detroit Pistons. Tonight, I reached out to the Sacramento Kings and they got back to me and confirmed to me that DeMarcus did release this apology through Mark Spears of Yahoo Sports. It reads, quote, for the record, my frustration is not about any one player or person or coach. There is no one person to blame. All of us are accountable. My frustration is that we are one in seven, simple as that, end quote. Now, Coach Carl, whose job could be in jeopardy if the Kings don't start winning fast, echoed what Cousins had to say. You know, I think we're all frustrated with the process. Any, any team is on a seven-game seven game losing streak has to, has to do a little extra work. And sometimes that's opening the door, closing the door and opening up conversation, get everybody's thoughts on the table, and then recommit and rededicate. Now, for more on the Kings drama, K33's Lisa Gonzalez sat down with Kings general manager Vladi Divas to discuss what's next for this organization. It has not been a great start to the season for the Sacramento Kings. The last season in Sleep Train Arena, they have only won one game so far. I sat down with General Manager Vladi Divots to address several issues. Number one, what really happened in the locker room with DeMarcus Cousins after Monday night's loss? What happened at that team meeting? And what is the job status, job security for Coach Carl? He answered all of those questions. Take a listen. Yeah, DeMarcus was frustrated, you know, but he didn't address the coach. He was talking generally for everybody. Uh, so I actually. Uh, Were you there when he I was, was there, and I, I like it. You know that that means that they they care. They don't want to lose games, and uh, uh, obviously we had a meeting. You know, next day, and we talk about you know what we can do to improve. And uh, uh, now you know we are on the same page, and I'm happy about it. Are you happy with Coach Carl? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know he's uh, you know one of the best coaches in the league, and uh, we should. I don't know how long he can be a coach, you know, but we should take advantage of his time here and do the best we can. As for what Vladi would like to see change with the way the team is playing, he says, first of all, they're a young team. It's going to take them time to grow and mature as a family. But right away, he would like to see two things change. Number one, he said they need to make those free throw shots. And number two, they need to do a better job of moving the ball around. He says in time, it will happen. They'll start winning games. At Sleep Train Arena, Lisa Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.